Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about difference between append queries and merge queries in the Power BI. This is one of the important interview questions in the Power BI. First one is append queries. So append queries is the one which will help us to append the data between multiple queries. It means that it is going to work like union all in the SQL server. Let us say I have a data employee one table and employee two table. I want to append the data between these two tables. Yes, I can use append in the Power BI. So finally, append queries is the one which works similar to the union all in the SQL server. Next one is merge queries. Let us say I have an employee table and I have a department table. So I need some columns from the employee table as well as some columns from the department table. So that time I am going to use the merge queries. It means that in terms of SQL, I am going to call it as a joins. Merge queries is nothing but joins in the SQL server. Let me show you practically how to implement this append queries and merge queries in the Power BI. Before going to do that, let me show you the data which I am planning to take to show you these examples. So I am going to take the first table is select star from employee. So where you have around nine records with uh, around uh, eight columns, eight, nine columns and employee table two. Here, if you see this, I have one record with around like a six or seven columns and a department table. If you see that this is a department table I'm going to take. Finally, I'm going to take these three tables to explain the difference between merge queries and the append queries. So I'm going to load these th three tables data into my Power BI window. So let me show you how to load even here. Let's get data, select SQL server. My server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Click on OK. So if you specify database name here, you will see the list of tables available in the database. Okay, otherwise you can simply expand the DB training. So here I am going to take the DB training database. From that DB training, I am going to select as I showed you earlier, DEPD table, which is having like a department number and department name, name as a columns and the employee table. So which are of having around like a seven, eight columns with nine records. This is the data. Next one is EMP2. So which are of having one row with uh, seven, eight columns. So once you are done with the table selection, let's click on load. So once you click on load, so based on the size of the data, it takes a while to load that data into the Power BI window in memory. Let's wait for a while. Yeah, the load part is done. Now, if you just come here in the left side, there is a data window. There you can see the data in the each and every table. I just selected employee table, EMP2 table. Now, let me talk about first one is the append queries. Let's come back to here. So let's go to the edit queries. So in the Power BI window, you have edit queries option. Let's click on that. So once you click on edit queries, so let's select first, let's talk about the append queries. So for the append queries, I'm going to use EMP table and EMP2 table. Okay. So which are of having same structure, same schema for my example. Okay. Now, so let's select either EMP or EMP2. So let's come extreme right in the extreme right let's click on this bottom option click on the append queries so in the append queries you have a boat uh, arrow down in that down so you have append queries as well as append queries as a new option so if you simply click on append queries so you are going to append the data to the existing table so if you select the append queries as new so you are going to create a new table new table so which gives you the combination data between the appended tables. So let's click on append queries as new. So once you click on new, so it will show you like how many tables you want to append either two tables or three or more tables. So as I told you, I have only two tables. So first table is my employee table. Second table, I'm going to take it as a EMP2. If you see here, first table is EMP. Second table is EMP2. Let's click on OK. So once you click on OK, it is going to create a separate table with a combinational data between these two tables. Let me click on OK. Yes, if you see this, 
now it has been created a table with the name of append1 and it is a club data between the first emp table as well as emp2 you can see that first nine records from the emp table and last record is from the emp2 so once you are done with it you, if you want to change you can change the uh, name of the append1 as well so let's once you are done with it you can click on close and apply so this is how we are going to apply a append queries in the power bi window now let me come back to the match queries one second before going to the match queries yeah, you, here you can see this once you select append one you will be seeing all the data between the emp and emp2 table okay now let me show you the match queries so even for match queries also you need to go to the edit queries window in the edit queries window similarly you have to go to the combine extreme right in the extreme right just click on this arrow you will be seeing the match queries as well so let's click on this match queries here also you have two options match queries or match queries as new so if you keep the match queries as new so let's select the match queries as new similarly if you click as new you are going to create a new table based on the data between these two tables the first table i selected as a mp dpd table as a primary table second table i need to select here the my second table is emp table so here in the match option so i need to specify on what basis i need to apply join between these two tables so here my common column between these two table is department number and department number here if you see this okay so i just selected department number in the department table and department number in the emp table and if you see here in the bottom you have a join kind so you have many joins like a left outer right outer full outer inner left anti and right anti so these are all the joins are self explanatory so out of all these conditions let's select one condition so one join i am going to take inner it means that inner join in the sql server so let's select the inner and click on okay so i am going to click on okay so i just selected inner join and i am going to click on okay now if you see this it has been created a new table with a name of match so you can keep you can change the name of the match to your meaningful name and here you have 10 technical and table so if you want to expand this you can click on this what are all the columns you want you can click on it you can click on okay so once you click on okay now you can see all the values here so department number 20 technical and uh, the people who belongs to a, a particular technical we have this and for this we have direct and all if you see in the order you can will get it all okay now you can see all for all 10 departments you have these many people you have four people in the 10 if you see this okay so this is how we are going to perform a merge options now if you understand very clearly the difference between merge and append is append is going to work union all in sql as in the match it is a kind of joins you have couple of joins like what are the joins we have it is going to support left joins right joins full outer joins inner joins left anti right anti these are the list of joins my power bi is going to support in the append queries there is no join concept it is simply union all like a append queries as new or append queries so based on the option it is going to show you the output in the power bi so if you see totally you will be getting mage one as the output to the power bi append one as the output to the power bi so once you are all done with it let's click on close and apply once you click on close and apply it shows you the Mage one as well in the data. Now this is the data which you can use it for your uh, visualizations. So this is how we are going to differentiate between the merge queries and append queries. Now finally, I'm going to repeat merge queries are working as a joins in the SQL Server. Like a, it supports left join, right join, full outer join, left anti join right anti join and inner join and it is going to create a new table as your wish if you want to club in the existing table yes you can do in that but append queries also similarly it is going to work as a union all in the sql server 
so you can club or you can append the data between multiple tables not only two you can append multiple tables three or more tables also you can create a new table altogether or you can append in the existing table itself so finally that's how we will be defining the match queries and the append queries that's it thank you for watching so if you have any questions in the msbi power bi and sql please write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com and please subscribe and provide your feedback to all my videos so you can write your questions in the comment section of the youtube video as well that's it thank you for watching